last set of that pool, there are still two pools in Wave 2 that are mostly melee players, so we're gonna start playing those now. Now that melee has progressed a little bit more. What's uh yeah shit, is anyone in chat? Are there people watching this? Because like no one was watching these Chocolate Oven games. My god. I missed out. No hexes from Alright, who are we getting now? Who are we getting? I bet we can get someone. Well, I'm gonna stay here because I'm the only one left. So I'll man I'll man the empty stream for the moment. Yo. That last set that we just lost was too over Angelo. Yeah. Oh come on, someone's out there in chat, I bet. Someone. Surely. We're getting up there to final bracket time. We've got two more pools to play, and we're also going to run Amateur Bracket. Probably get a little bit of that on stream while other people get snacks and shit. Oh, yo. Okay, we got some of the melee players here. Yo, play on stream if you're going to play a set. Alright, sweet. I assume Sheik beats Luigi just the way the Sheik generally deals with low tiers. But it's gonna be a grueling battle. Like, Sheik can't really punish Luigi that hard. Oh, or maybe she can. That was a really creative move choice for that whole combo. And it was only 38%, but like, oh, Luigi, that's pretty good. Sheik definitely can edge guard Luigi quite well, especially with Sina's famous needle snipes. I'm really liking the way he is. It's not overextending on Luigi here, but still getting as much percent as he can. Definitely. I'm looking for you in this match. I'm looking for Terry. Oh, that was something that Neon was talking about on Twitter recently. The fact that because of Needles. I don't know, something about that they activate the Hurtbox. Basically, the Needles just clank through shit the way that other projectiles can. I always thought it was because they had a Hurtbox. Oh. Okay, and there's out, but it gets counter hit. So the old Luigi. Weak bear, strong bear. And catches the, the side beat, but there's more coming. Supposed to get out of the way of it. Oh, and manages to punish that get up attack. That was pretty nice. Oh, manages to dodge the, uh, the rock. Kale's really looking for the skill. I'm not looking super prepared for like the game we do, and I haven't seen any uh, any wave drops yet. Which is something that the game we can use to help get it. Uh, a little choppy on the ledge dash too. I feel like I have a feeling they just came from melee and are probably adjusting to the uh, different engine. Okay, melee tools are also going on right now, so you know, some overlap. Oh, good spacing. Yeah, I don't know, Cena is looking untouchable right now. Yo, check out this. 
We got Cena versus Kale. Kale. And Cena is looking untouchable right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just really holding this stuff. Got that Mangachu practice. Yeah, for real. Uh, so, this, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Kale gets stuck. Charges down B, which you don't have to do in this game. Oh, yeah. And you gotta do a melee event on this game. What's the charging thing again? In, in melee, you have to ground it down B for your aerial down B to give you height again. Oh. But it's actually more complicated than that, and there's rules as to whether you spawn with it or not based on, like, port and shit. It's, it's insane. Awesome. Melee's ridiculous. God, who coded this shit? Um, but yeah, you don't have to do it with DM, you just always get your down B back. Oh, I'm surprised he was a that near out in time. Jab Zer has been a very staple... No. Okay, you know it's going well when you, when mid set, you hear you know, your opponent turn around. It's like it's bad, dude. Yeah, we're looking at a counter pick character of some kind here. Yeah. I don't know how much PM Kale actually plays. Oh, we're going back. Oh, we're going Mr. L this time. Kale said he hasn't played. Also, yeah. Why are these motherfuckers trying to get me to work? What? Oh no, sorry. I just have my coworkers kind of keep calling me and shit saying. Please pick up a shift. You're right, you, you've got a commentary shift. Yeah, I got stuff to do. Busy man. I got a block to handle. Yeah. You've been commentating all day, but I don't mind. I mean, if other people want to. Like, I, I like commentating. But I like commentating. I don't really have anything else, else to do. do. Yeah. I don't really feel like playing. I'm running shit, but you know, people report their own matches mostly. Yeah, we're the faces. Let's be honest. Yeah, they come for us. Yeah. We, we come to watch the pools. I'm commenting uh, seriously because I don't want. Because I know people don't want to look back on their match and be like, oh, this is like this. Uh, Kale lost a double jump there and just died. Yeah, that was brutal. Cena's needle snipes also have been very instrumental in doing these edge guards. Like, she might not combo Luigi that hard, but she can edge guards Luigi so hard. Yeah, like the advantage yeah. state is just um, ridiculous. It does look like Kale's movement is, is cleaning up a little bit now. I say that and they miss a wave line, but they're looking less choppy than game one, I would say. Yeah. But they still, they really got a figure this out a little bit more and shouts we're gonna out, win in time. Shouts out to Sheik's F smash and oh. PM having like a 0 0.5 SDI modifier so that shit. Yeah it actually works. links. It's actually pretty useful. So honestly yeah and honestly I swear to god it feels safe on shield. But yeah I don't know honestly I'm trying to look at this matchup I don't think it's not wave dashing in much to like try to jab. Yeah, I feel like you gotta really be keeping your positioning ambiguous with Luigi movement. Otherwise you just get smacked. Like what are you gonna do about back air? Yeah. Smacked if you're not keeping your movement ambiguous. Yeah. Uh, I will say that I think Kale probably doesn't have wave drops, and that's a pretty useful Luigi movement thing in this game. Oh, that jab reset was good, but how do you finish? I didn't combo. Yeah, don't up throw at this yeah. percent. I feel like you do like down throw fair there, maybe, or just like down throw see where they be are. Yeah, for sure. I think definitely you could have gone a, at least down throw up smash at this percent. You could oh, yeah, maybe. Do. Yeah. I don't know. We just down throw always confuses oh, me sometimes. Oh, unfortunate. This is rough. It's looking brutal. God, Cena, come back. Um, the cusp of a second low percent three stock. Any cuspers? Any cuspers in the chat? <laughs> okay, that's a kill. Well, I guess Cena goes Zelda, but I'm pretty sure that's still a kill. Let's yeah. go three stock. I guess Cena's trying to finish this out with Zelda. Yep, we know that's gonna go. And this matchup is pretty good for Zelda, too. Honestly, yeah. I feel like Zelda's pretty fine in this matchup. Ooh, Luigi sucks. Holy shit. Like, I always forget how like, much he sucks because Meta Knight kind of annoys me that matchup, but... Uh, yes! I mean, okay, I don't think this is like a fair representation of, of Luigi and TM necessarily right now. Yeah. But I will say that, yeah, Luigi can struggle in a lot of matchups, even ones that are otherwise supposedly low tier, like this one. Okay. And that's the set. That was, uh, pretty quick. Yeah, if y'all... So if there's any other sets going on in your pool, you can play them on stream, because, like... You know, there's nothing else going on.